Sometimes we think, what if our computers were like human brain? Welcome to Simple Technology Channel, where we today will explore the world of neuromorphic computing, a field where we eagerly await the unfolding of new chapter in artificial intelligence. Let's embark on this exciting journey together, where computing is stepping beyond its boundaries and reaching toward the highest level of humanity. If you prefer to watch this video in Hindi, you can click on the i button above and you will find the link in the description as well. Neuromorphic computing is a unique process inspired by the structure and functionality of the human brain. It involves mimicking the way our brain processes information using artificial neurons and synapses. Neuromorphic chips, commonly employed in computers, can efficiently solve problems and recognize patterns more rapidly and skillfully compared to traditional computers. Due to its inspiration from the intricacy and efficiency of human brain, neuromorphic computing possesses the ability to compete with the emulate the capability of human mind. The field of neuromorphic computing is nascent science, still in its early stages of development. Research in this domain is currently limited to universities, government research institutes, and major tech companies such as IBM and Intel Lab. The expensive financial utility of neuromorphic computing may take some time to fully materialize. However, these are notable examples demonstrating its role in various sectors. Fields like edge computing, robotics, fraud deduction, and neuroscience research have already witnessed the potential of neuromorphic computing. Speed and proficiency are essential in neuromorphic computing, making it a promising area that could usher in the transmitted changes in the world of science and technology in the future. As developments unfold, this field has the potential to carve out new direction that could reshape the landscape of science and technology in coming years. According to Kwabe and Bohen, a professor at the Stanford University and the expert in neuromorphic computing, the scale of AI computation is doubling every three to four months in today's world. This emerging technology not only enhances the speed of general computational process, but also opens up a new avenue towards surpassing the limitations of Moore's law. Moore's law has traditionally been a crucial metric for the growth of quality in the tech products. The advancement in the neuromorphic computing, as suggested by Bohean, could potentially redefine the trajectory of progress, offering a significant benchmark for the enhancement of tech product quality. History of Neuromorphic Computing To delve into the complicated history of the neuromorphic computing, let's rewind and explore its rules, where the intricacies of human brain interact with the technological skills. The inception of neuromorphic computing dates back to 1950s where American psychologist Frank Rosenwald introduced the perceptron, based on artificial neural network. Moving forward, the 90s 80s witnessed the evident of parallel distributed processing, that is PDP, a concept demonstrated by the Rommel Hurt, McClelland, and Hilton. The 90s 90s saw a surge toward the connectionism, emphasizing the emulations of interconnected nature in neural elements. Researchers made significant strides in replicating complex behavior and pattern. As we entered a new era, the focus shifted toward the attention neurons and brain-inspired architectures. Spiking neural networks emerged, mimicking brain communication through vibrations. This approach allowed for working with biologically inspired models, marking a significant advancement in the field of neuromorphic computing. In 2010s, neuromorphic computer hardware achieved significant milestone, with a project such as Spinnaker from Manchester University and IBM TrueNot chip playing breakthrough roles. These efforts aim to replicate the parallel and energy-efficient nature of human brain in hardware. In 2013, the term neuromorphic engineering gained promissance, illustrating an interdisciplinary perspective that combined neuroscience, computer science, and engineering to create artificial system inspired by human brain. The year 2016 marked the entry of major players like Intel and IBM into the field of neuromorphic computing. Technologies such as Intel's Lohini and IBM's TrueNot chip not only demonstrated commercial interest but also started a new chapter in brain-inspired computing. These developments showcase the growing importance of neuromorphic computing and its potential application in various industries. In 2017, significant strides were made by the projects such as Stanford University's project NeuroGrid and European Union BrainScale S. These initiatives aim to develop large-scale, energy-efficient neuromorphic systems. The goal was to create an advanced system that could mimic the efficiency and scale of human brain. 
The momentum of research in neuromorphic computing contributes into the 2020s, showcasing unpredictable progress. Neuromorphic computing is now gaining recognition for its capabilities in artificial intelligence, robotics, and cognitive computing. From theoretical concept to practical implementation, this journey illustrates a development of technology inspired by marvels of human brain. The ongoing advancements signify the transformative potential of neuromorphic computing in shaping the future of various technological domains. How does it work? To understand how it works, let us delve into the cognitive process that neuromorphic technology seeks to emulate. Neuromorphic technology, often referred to as brain-inspired computing, is redefining the perspective of artificial intelligence. At its core, this technology incorporates the magic of artificial neurons, spiking dynamics and synaptic interaction. To comprehend it more thoroughly, let's break it down with finer details. Firstly, we have artificial neurons, the fundamental building block of neuromorphic system. Unlike traditional computing, where signals are continuous, these neurons communicate through spikes, resembling the small burst of electrical activity in our brain. The connection between these artificial neurons are known as synapses. The strength of this connection or the synaptic weight is crucial. Similar to our brain, these connections adapt over time and learn. A characteristic referred to the synaptic plasticity. Just like our brain, these connections adjust and learn over time. To better understand synaptic plasticity, think of it as the brain saying, I have learned something new. This system allows connection to strengthen or weaken based on the experience. And in simple terms, it learns from incoming data. In simple language, you can learn something new. There is a stronger connection between neurons in your brain. This means that whenever information comes in, it strengthens the connection so that the information is remembered and you can understand it better. In this way, when new data comes, the system learns how to adjust its connection to store the information correctly. Now let's talk about power, specifically the power of parallel processing. Neuromorphic systems gain the ability to perform multiple tasks simultaneously, which is entirely different from the sequential processing approach of traditional computers. But how does this technique actually apply in this real world? In reality, neuromorphic systems are advancing not only in the image and speech recognition but also in complex decision making. Therefore, this brain-inspired perspective opens the door to many possibilities. Why do we need this? Today, most of the hardware is based on von Neumann architectures, which typically separates computer memory and computing. This occurs because von Neumann chips have to settle information back and forth between the memory and the CPU, leading to the waste of both memory and energy, a problem known as von Neumann bottleneck problem. As time progresses, von Neumann architecture will make computing power more challenging. Therefore, there is a need for a new type of computing architecture. Quantum computing and neuromorphic systems are two solutions that address these challenges. If you want to learn more about quantum computing, you can also find this on our channel. The link will be available in the description below. What is the difference between neuromorphic computing and quantum computing? Neuromorphic computing is capable of human-like learning and improvement, making it ideal for AI and cognitive tasks. On other hand, quantum computing solves complex problems at the unpredictable speed, posing a potential threat to current encryption methods. However, both these technologies face unique challenges. Neuromorphic computing grapples with the scalability issue while quantum computer deal with delicate nature of qubits. The question arises which path would lead us toward the technological future. Recently, it has been observed that these two technologies are significantly competition with each other. Nevertheless, both neuromorphic and quantum computing hold crucial potential in their respective rights and are still in the early stage of development and application. Technological Challenges As we delve into the intervening world of neuromorphic computing, we also have to face challenges. First and the foremost among these challenges is scalability. When our goal is to replicate the complexities of human brain, scaling this system to match the intricacies of large neural networks become a significant challenge. At a large scale, there are currently several obstacles in the direction of building proficient neuromorphic system. Second is energy efficient. This poses a significant challenge in terms of energy efficiency. Since we aspire to create machines that mimic efficiency of brain, striking a delicate balance between the performance and energy consumption become a complex task. The challenge lies in developing the hardware that emulates the process of brain while mimicking the intricacies of real world. Third is algorithm complexity. 
translating theoretical models into the practical algorithm that can efficiently mimic neural processes present in significant challenges. Researchers grapple in the task of encoding and complexity of learning and navigating algorithm to enable machines to truly learn and develop on their own. And the final challenge is interdisciplinary collaboration. Neuromorphic computing requires enterprise from various domains, including neuroscience, computer science, and engineering. Closing the gap between these disciplines is essential to ensure comprehensive understanding and collaboration across all perspectives. Are these systems available today? Neuromorphic computing research and development is an active field and several projects have been initiated to build this system. However, it's crucial to note that the widespread adaptation and general use, this system is still in the early stages of development. Several research institutes and companies have prototypes and experimental hardware in the field of neuromorphic computing. However, these systems are often specialized and not yet widely available. Major technology giants like IBM, Intel and often along with research institutes such as Stanford University and European Union, Human Brain Project actively contribute to the development of the neuromorphic computing. While progress is being made, these technologies are still in process of becoming more broadly accessible for general use. For the latest updates, it is advisable to check this institute as technology is being developed rapidly. The commercial availability and widespread availability of practical implementation of neuromorphic computing systems may take more time before they become available for various applications. Before we go, we hope for the future where neuromorphic computing becomes not just a scientific marvel but a transformative force. The challenges we face today are paving the way toward a technological path where machines not only assist us but work collaboratively, bridging the gap between artificial and human intelligence. If you found this journey fascinating, don't forget to comment below with the thoughts and the suggestions. For mind-expanding content in the world of technology, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for you joining us on this adventure. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.